Hey guys, this is Aditya from the Zero Smart Trading. Uh, welcome to another live trading session. Uh, so I'm going to break it down this buy trade that I have taken. Uh, though uh, eventually I'm looking for a sell trade, but right now I have taken a buy trade. And uh, the purpose of making this video because this is the setup uh, that uh, I explained uh, to my uh, group members uh, yesterday that uh, how to validate an auto block okay so uh let me uh explain this buy trade that what i what i have taken a buy trade okay so uh, yesterday when i said that uh the first requirement of the validation is that we need uh to price to retest uh from uh you know uh, price must retest from uh stf uh, area of interest okay so in this case uh, we do have a STF area of interest as you can see that we have this uh, liquidity discount zone on a 15 minute here okay so we can see there's this nice uh, uh, bull rally that uh, broke this uh, uh, resistance and now this is our RBS uh, uh, level okay which means the resistance became a support now the price uh, after taking a rejection from this h1 area the price dropped to this level and then after a small consolidation it went up but how do we validate uh, uh, that if we should be taking the trade or if the order block confirmation is valid or not so for that what we look for here is we need a, a confirmation a break of structure that will uh, 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 that will be impulsive enough to uh, breach the last bearish order block okay so if you look here this is our last bearish order block okay and then you can see the price uh, uh, it dropped the price price came back I retested this order block here it came back again and now you can see that it broke so here you can see that we have this bullish order block which breach this bearish order block okay so now what that mean is that now this uh, bearish order block is going to work as our rbs okay why is black let me change this to green okay so now this same bearish order block now going to act as a bullish order block because we have a, a impulsive break that you can see that the price retested this area come on why is this becoming uh let us give it white okay so it uh, retested this area and now you can see that it breached came back using the breaker block now we have a small consolidation going on here uh, the smart trend of the five minutes is bullish so what I'm expecting this price to make uh, something like this. So I'm expecting uh, to look for a sell around this area again with the confirmation. But that depends now if the price has to move uh, to the uh, H1 area. Okay, but because this is where we have the H1 next uh, uh, area of interest uh, where we can going to look for a sell entry okay so that's the reason why i took this buy trade uh, it is based on the uh, the confirmation model that i uh, explained uh, yesterday i shared in the training room so now this is how we validate a, uh, you know an order block the order block which means now if let's say that we having this bearish momentum and then this is the la the final order block so then we got this bullish confirmation but how do we validate that this is a this is a valid bullish confirmation this is the only way to understand that the break of structure has to be impulsive enough to invalidate or break above the last bearish order block this is for uh, in case of buy trade okay so that is the reason why i took this trade now because i'm using this area as a bullish break uh, breaker block now i'm expecting the price to make a movement like this and then once the price will move back to this h1 area again then here i'm going to look for a confirmation entry again okay 
the overall trend uh, on gold is bullish so that is why it is uh, highly recommend to trade with the confirmation but there is there is uh, a question there is a question mark and now why what is the question mark as you can notice here we have this premium area so this is a resistance so you can see that the price moved up from here taken out the liquidity now it dropped back so now for this price to uh, go above this has to be broken so now if i get any bearish confirmation here because we have this resistance here and the price already have rejected so now if i get any bearish confirmation here like if i get a bearish short of block if i get a uh, bearish break of structure then i'm going to exit my buy trade i'm going to hold until then okay usually i'm good now i'm uh, uh, yeah i'm I, i'm not happy with the entry that i have got i i would have preferred to take trades around here but uh, that's fine uh, things not go like what we want every time so i'm expecting this area to be broken otherwise if this don't get broken the chance the price will take a dip okay so but uh, as long this area is uh, active resistance i am going to monitor and if i get any kind of bearish confirmation here uh, then i'm going to exit my buy trade i'm not going to hold on to it okay so these are the things that you need to understand you need to keep uh, in your mind you need to monitor your trade but i i am expecting the price to go up to at least uh, to the next liquidity area so i'm going to hold on to this trade so let's see so uh, the price is uh, slowly moving now uh, <coughs> i'm going to break it even once the price will uh, go over 50 percent of my uh, take profit now uh, see the reason why i expected this move something like this uh, there is a reason behind that what happened when this breakout came okay and then when the price made this pullback so all those who are looking for sell got entered into this breakout okay now there is a lots of sellers here so what the price will do it will do like this take out these sellers it will go to the extreme selling zone and then there is a possibility that it will come down okay so all this all those who got into the sale uh, after this breakout will be taken out now okay so uh, that is the reason why i'm expecting the price uh, to move to the next area of interest and that is why i always uh, ask my members that make sure that your trade have a backing of high time frame area of interest okay if there is no high time frame uh, area of interest then uh, we cannot consider this as a good trade so now see it's already 20 pips so what i'm going to do is i'm going to secure my trade now whatever happens happens okay i'm uh, this is the area this this area looks quite nice for sell so uh, because this is inside h1 uh, auto block uh, i think uh, let me see yeah so this is inside the h1 uh, 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 high time frame uh, area of interest so i'm expecting the goal to make a move inside i'm looking for a sell around this uh, but that depends because now the smart trend is uh, bullish so I'm not going to go directly into the cell instead I'll wait for a confirmation here uh, maybe a very short block or maybe a breaker block here and then I'm gonna look for a cell okay so this was the reason why I took this buy trade uh, but the main purpose was to explain the yesterday's setup that I showed uh, that how to validate and confirmation order block okay so that is all from this video i'll be back again with another video which will uh, have my uh, my purpose is not to make a video showing trades okay that okay see how big trades i'm doing no I, my, my 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 idea is to make a video based on the uh, ideas that i'm sharing with the members then show them practically on the chart to help them understand how it works okay there's no point of showing off trades uh, i just don't uh, believe in showing off trades okay you need to show off uh, the setups that will happen that have some logic okay 
so this this is the setup this is how you validate a order block so i hope this will help you to uh, take confirmation entries and uh, i'll be back again with another video until then happy trading bye bye